I've never really been able to get my head around the fact that we're all not part of one family that's bridging the gap between rehab and performance. If we look at the fathers of function and movement and rehabilitation medicine and fitness, we're all on the same team. We're all part of a fraternity that stands kind of as outliers. The bastion that's out there, whether it's old school bodybuilding, isolating muscles instead of integrating them functionally, or it's in medicine, the kind of orthopedic paradigm of focusing on structural pathology instead of functional pathology, is what we all kind of represent, a new stream, a new way of thinking, a new paradigm. It's just a beautiful thing to see this renaissance occurring over the last decade or two. My two teachers from Prague in the Czech Republic, Dr. Carol Levitt and Professor Vladimir Yanda, focused on reversible changes of the functional pathology of the motor system, and they focused on looking at movement patterns. We know that structure doesn't govern function, and people are free, they're liberated by your messages of empowerment that reassure them and reactivate them, and then an amazing thing happens. It turns out that most of the pain that people have is not primarily related to a hardware or structural issue, but is related to a software or functional issue, which Dr. Levitt called the reversible functional pathologies of the locomotor system. And when we make the functional diagnosis, when we find the painless dysfunction, we have a road in to help people to overcome any kind of baggage or label that they've been given that's iatrogenic or disabling. So Dr. Levitt said, I am always aware of how many things which I taught in my long past have since proved wrong. This is the attitude of a man at that time in his mid-80s. Mid I am always aware of how many things which I taught in my long past that have since proved wrong. The most important attitude is therefore to be constantly aware that what you are doing and teaching now, you will have to modify and correct in view of new facts. Thus, you must keep an open mind for new knowledge, even if it sometimes shows that what you believed or thought or taught before was wrong. Assess, assess, assess. Time spent in assessment will save time in treatment. Levitt said, don't begin until you have the whole picture. So Dr. Levitt has given us a compass for how we do this analysis. It's by remaining humble. It's by opening our heart and our minds and our ears and listening to people tell their story. Because in their story, in their history, are the key things that tell us about their risk. And watching them. Watching them come in to the training area or the treatment room and watching how they take their shirt off, watching how they take their shoes off. Regardless, physical therapist, chiropractor, athletic trainer, strength conditioning coach, fitness trainer, osteopath, acupuncturist, physiatrist, it doesn't matter. We all are part of a family. We're bridging the gap. We're the outliers. We have more in common with each other than with 90% of the people in our profession because we're part of a paradigm shift.